Well, good morning, guys. Well, today's quite an exciting day. Yep, sure is. Um, I've decided, uh, after two years, to get myself a nice stainless steel anchor. Oh yes, so uh, my engineering friend, uh, boating engineering friend that is, is uh, coming down to fit it. So I'm just, uh, let's say good morning to the ducks, because they're always in the way. Um, so he's going to meet me here for about 8.30, it's uh, 25 minutes past uh, 8 right now. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm quite excited, so it should be quite good. So I'm going to go for an old standard, from an old standard uh, anchor to a brand new shiny one so uh, plow anchor that is um, or Bruce anchor some people know it as so uh, so yeah so should, should be good should be good so uh, catch you in a bit and we're gonna go through the process so I shall probably also do because this is a, a professional uh, uh, boating engineer so um, there's my little baby there there we are so he should be here shortly, so a little cigarette and uh, we'll go from there, rock and roll. So I'm going to go from this. To this. Yeah, basically McCarley was the uh, engineer that uh, came with me to when I first purchased the boat. Um, he came with me with his... Uh, diagnostics and all that business all his little laptop and he could key into the engine and uh, or tune into the engine and um, check everything out so uh, but he's since left the company that uh, he worked for and he's gone on his own so he's now independent so I've kept him uh, um, on board um, because obviously he knows his stuff um, so I, the, the, the story on the anchor is I was quoted uh, 300 euros for a brand new stainless steel anchor um, but I've actually got it for 145 and the carless bless him is fitting it for 5 euros which is neither here or there really um, so yeah so quite excited about that so uh, we'll see how we go it, well it looks like he's here so uh, I'll introduce you to McCarless. yes oh, oh, oh. good guy good guy Calimera Macalis. <laughs> You're on camera, buddy, because I'm doing a little bit of a YouTube thing. Are you alright, buddy? How are you? Fine, thank you. Yeah, you busy, busy? Uh, okay. Oh, what we got, brother? What? Oh, my God. How sexy does that look? <laughs> eh? How sexy does that look? That's rather sexy, isn't it? My God. So yeah, there she is. Rock and roll. All good stuff, guys. All good stuff. Yeah, I do the old uh, YouTube videos, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I thought, well, it's not every day you have a new anchor. <laughs> <laughs> is it? No, no, no. Exactly. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? That's nice, isn't it, that? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah.
<laughs> so that's how you do it. <laughs> now you want me to pass it up to you now, don't you? <laughs> The screw, yeah. So you heated it up. You can't put the hard tool. Ah, bravo, bravo. That's sea salt for you, I suppose, isn't it? Oh, there you are. Very nice. Wow. Rock and roll. <laughs> okay. That's fantastic, buddy. Bye. Thank you very much, Macari. Thank you, mate. Yes, yeah, so, all, buddy. Bye. Rock and roll. Hey, guys, we're out to sea now with the new anchor. So we thought we'd uh, give it a whirl. I've just uh, dropped the old girl in here. We're in uh, nine and a half, just under ten feet of water and I'm going to dive in and uh, check it out so uh, you'll be seeing the new anchor at the same time as me so uh, it seems to have held very well actually it only dragged for about three foot and away we're going that was the job done dropped a load of chain um, got about uh, well, about 25 foot of chain out so uh, so we're okay in this small uh, little cove there's the pirate ship over there for the tourists and that so uh, they're enjoying their lunch at the moment and I'm gonna dive in here and uh, check the new anchor out see if it's still shiny underwater yes here we go guys here we go 